about Nissan Aria. A flash of inspiration can transform everything. Introducing the Aria electric crossover. Life charged with optimism. It's Nissan's first electric SUV and promises up to 310 miles of range and a 394 horsepower performance model. Nissan is expanding its line of electric vehicles with a 2022 Aria SUV, which will go on sale in the U.S. late this year. So for more information, let's get into the video. The Aria will join the Leaf hatchback in the Nissan showroom and will offer up to 300 miles of driving range which beats the Leaf's maximum of 226. The Aria's design represents a shift from the current sharp, angular lines seen on many of Nissan's vehicles. The Aria is an all-new vehicle for Nissan. It features Nissan's new semi-autonomous driving system, Pro Pilot 2.0, which debuted on the Japanese market Nissan Skyline sedan. The low, wide stance of the Aria differentiates it from the Rogue and gives it a sportier look pricing, and which one to buy. Nissan hasn't released pricing for the longer-range 87.0 kilowatt-hour model, but the base version with a smaller battery pack will start around $40,000. That puts it above the Leaf and other affordable EVs, but under the base price of the Model Y. We're of the mindset that to successfully switch from gasoline to electricity, range is the key. And if our estimation on price is correct, the larger battery pack could be a great value. Range, charging, and battery life. Nissan says that the Aria offers up to 300 miles of driving range per charge. And if that turns out to be true, it would be quite the step up from the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. Similarly sized vehicles include Jaguar's I-Pace and Audi's e-tron, which have 234 and 204 miles of range, respectively. Key rivals from Tesla offer claimed ranges of over 300 miles. The Aria will be capable of charging at home on 110 to 240 volt outlets, as well as at public charging stations and even DC fast charging ports. Engine, Transmission, and Performance Unlike the Leaf, which comes only with front-wheel drive, Nissan is pulling from features developed in other cars, including the GTR Sports Cars Torque Split System to offer optional all-wheel drive via a dual-front rear electric motor configuration. We estimate that the all-wheel drive Aria will zip from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5.0 seconds, a feat that is similar to higher-end electric vehicles. The base front-wheel drive model will likely be slower, but we will expect it to offer peppy acceleration that's a characteristic of EV powertrains. Fuel economy and real-world miles per gallon. EPA fuel economy estimates aren't yet available for the Aria, nor has Nissan released any claimed miles per gallon e-figures. When the Aria gets closer to launch, that information will likely be available. We also hope to test the Aria ourselves on our 200-mile highway route, which allows us to evaluate its real-world efficiency. Interior, comfort, and cargo. The Aria's interior looks futuristic and minimal. Nissan appears to have discarded every button possible in pursuit of a smooth dashboard that favors a sleek look to match the design of the exterior. Despite Nissan's claim that the Aria's cabin is unlike a traditional automotive interior, its minimalistic theme appears to be its sole unique trait. Not that the cabin doesn't look like a nice place to spend time. A flat, low floor is said to increase the spacious feeling inside, and Nissan has incorporated comfy zero-gravity seats into the design. Infotainment and Connectivity Nissan has also divulged details about the infotainment system and connectivity features, and it looks quite nice. Dual 12.3-inch displays serve as both the digital gauge cluster and the infotainment screen. Apple CarPlay Android Auto, and in-dash navigation should all be standard features. The Aria concept that was shown in 2019 had a feature that allowed the car to sync with the schedule of the driver so it can preheat or pre-cool the interior while it's parked and charging, and therefore not draw on the power from the battery. 
The concept also showed off technology that would allow the driver to use their phone to park the Aria automatically from a nearby location using ProPilot's Remote Park, a system similar to Tesla's Smart Summon feature. Nissan hasn't said yet if these features will make it to the production model. Safety and Driver Assistance Features the Aria will feature ProPilot 2.0, Nissan's second generation of the ProPilot semi-autonomous technology as an optional feature. The system allows drivers to remove their hands from the wheel in certain driving scenarios. Although we haven't tested this new setup, we like the original ProPilot system when we used it in 2017, and if it's any indication of how version 2.0 will perform, our expectations are high. For more information about the ARIA's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, available adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode, Warranty and maintenance coverage. We predict the Aria will come with the same basic warranty package as the Leaf when it goes on sale. That warranty should include a competitive bumper-to-bumper -bumper policy as well as battery protection that stretches over eight years or 100,000 miles. Limited warranty covers three years or 36,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers five years or 60,000 miles. Battery warranty covers eight years or 100,000 miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance. So we hope that you liked the video and we will come with some amazing videos like this in the future.